Okay, uh, let's look at the homework 12, problem 1, uh, part B. All right? so uh, let's solve this um, eigenvalue problem. All right? So uh, first, uh, we can write the characteristic equation, which is um, r squared plus lambda uh, is equal to 0. So uh, we're going to get the complex roots. Uh, so r is going to be equal to uh, plus or minus square root of lambda i. Right? So the solution, general solution, is going to look like y is equal to some constant a cosine of uh, square root of lambda x plus b sine of uh, square root of lambda x. All right, then we can plug in negative pi and the positive pi, and we have to get zero. So uh, boundary value uh, condition, uh, plug in negative pi. So you will get uh, a cosine of right negative pi times square root of uh, lambda. So negative pi times square root of lambda. Uh, plus b sine of uh, negative pi square root of lambda. Right? But uh, since the cosine is an even function, uh, negative sine, you can take away the negative sign. So this is the same thing as uh, a cosine of uh, pi square root of lambda. Right? Sine is an odd function, so if you plug in negative pi times square root of lambda, which is the same thing as negative b sine of uh, pi times square root of lambda. Right? And this is supposed to be equal to 0. Right? The other one, uh, we plug in positive pi is equal to, all right, so you're going to get the a cosine of uh, pi square root of lambda plus b sine of um, pi square root of lambda. All right, we have that. All right, so this is equal to zero. All right, then you can see that, uh, let's see, we can uh, solve for maybe A and B, and uh, let's try that. Uh, I'm going to add these two equations together. So I'm going to add these two equations together. You're going to get um, uh, 2A cosine of uh, pi times square root of lambda. And unfortunately, negative b sine of pi square root of lambda. And this is a positive version of the same thing. So that cancel out. So this is equal to 0. All right? Since uh, uh, cosine and sine cannot be equal to 0, so you know for this guy to, uh, to equal to, uh, cannot be equal to 0 at the same time. So uh, only way that the, you can have a non-trivial solution is that uh, this cosine of pi square root of lambda is equal to zero. So uh, let's try to solve that. So uh, cosine is zero when um, uh, it's either a pi over two or uh, uh, you can add any multiple of pi. So it's going to be um, pi square root of lambda is equal to pi over 2, 90 degrees, makes uh, cosine uh, 0. And, or you can add any multiple of pi, uh, which can be rewritten as, right, n is uh, 2n over 2, so it's a 2n plus 1 over 2 pi. 
All right, then you can uh, divide both sides by pi, so you can cancel pi here and pi there. And then you can square both sides, oops. You can square both sides of the equation. Uh, so uh, squared. Alright, so you have uh, lambda is equal to right, 2n plus 1 squared over 2 squared would be 4. Alright, then uh, so this is when lambda equals that, so this is the eigenvalue, uh, a can be non zero because cosine is zero. Right, cosine and sine cannot be zero. I uh, cannot be equal to zero at the same time. So, uh, which means that uh, b has to be zero in this case. Right. So, if uh, a, so, in this case, a is non-zero, and uh, b is going to be zero. So, you're just going to have a cosine term. Right. So, cosine. So, corresponding um, uh, eigenfunction would be uh, y equals. Right. You don't have to put a constant, but it's going to be a cosine one, right? Then it's a let's see, a square root of lambda, so which is same thing as uh, this guy right here, right? So uh, you have square root of lambda is equal to uh, two n plus one over two. Then you have x, right? So this is the uh, corresponding um, uh, eigenfunction, right? Then the other case, uh, we can actually subtract, uh, for example, subtract uh, this equation from the, the next equation. So cosine cancel out. So you're going to have uh, right, uh, 2b sine of uh, pi square root of lambda is equal to zero, right? So uh, if sine of uh, pi square root of lambda is zero, b doesn't have to be zero. So you can get a non-zero b value from there. So the angle that makes sine equal to zero would be any multiple of pi. So it's uh, so pi square root of lambda is equal to any multiple of pi. Then we can cancel uh, pi, uh, divide through by pi. Then you can see that uh, we can square both sides to get uh, eigenvalue for this case. It's going to be n squared. All right. Then uh, try to match the expression. Uh, we can write this guy as uh, n is same thing as 2n over 2, right? If you square that, you can write it as uh, 2n squared over 4, right? Then uh, you can see that uh, the corresponding uh, eigenfunction is going to be, right, square root of that is going to be uh, 2n over 2. So we have a sine of a 2n over 2x, right? So we have this uh, eigenvalue and the corresponding um, uh, eigenfunction, oops. All right, so notice that uh, here 2n plus 1 is odd. Here 2n plus 1 is odd. So what they did was uh, instead of uh, using a 2n minus 1, uh, they called this guy um, n, right? And they call this guy n. So 2n is going to be an even number. So therefore, we can have a one expression for lambda sub n. Right, so this is going to be n squared over 4. Uh, either way, you have n squared over 4. So we can write it as n squared over 4. Right, then corresponding uh, eigenfunction is going to be, right, so here. So 2n plus 1 is an uh, uh, odd number. So if n is odd, 
then we can have an eigenfunction, which is cosine of, right? So instead of 2n plus 1, we put the n over 2, then x, right? Which is that guy, right? Then um, if n is even, then you would have the sine function, so it's going to be a sine of, right, instead of 2n, they use n over 2 times x, right? So that's how they got their answer. So I think the, the main problem, difficulty was, uh, you know, uh, rewriting what you got into the form that they presented here, right? That's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.